What's up guys, it's Peyton with The Recruiting Guru here. Uh, big Mississippi State fan, obviously. A lot of y'all know that already. Just kind of wanted to address some of the coaching rumors. Uh, I don't have a lot of sources, just a few, um, but trustworthy sources, people I would trust 99 out of 100 times. Uh, and then again, this is rumors. This is, you know, take it with a grain of salt if you want to, take it however you want, believe it, don't believe it, doesn't matter. Just kind of giving you, you know, what I've heard in my opinions. Uh, gonna kind of tell you a couple guys I've heard. Um, some that is going around message boards that might not be necessarily true, and then some outsiders. A um, couple guys that I've heard, uh, definitely Billy Napier, uh, done a great job at ULL. Uh, came from, you know, the Saban tree, the Dabo tree, I guess you could say. Um, was with Saban for a year. And then Saban wanted him back. Uh, I think he coached three more years with Saban, maybe two. Uh, so that says a lot. You know, the Saban wanted him back. Uh, did good in Arizona State. They wanted him as their head coach before they hired Herm. Um, all the fan base wanted him. Uh, then he went to ULL. You know what he's done there. Um, they're looking for 11 wins come Monday night. Uh, done a great job. He's one, you know, everyone thought, okay, he's the guy. It's a done deal. Uh, then there was rumors spread that you know he wasn't interested. In no, no deal. Uh, I wouldn't believe that. Like Cohen said, you know, take what you hear with a grain of salt unless it comes from his mouth. Um, I think you know, it's kind of a money game. Uh, it's just what I'm hearing, kind of what I feel as well. Uh, it's just a money game. He's wanting more from himself and of course more for his staff, which is awesome. Uh, also, he's got a bowl game Monday. He doesn't want you know his players thinking he's leaving. Uh, it says a lot about him, uh, something that I would have loved to have from Mullen when he was here. Uh, if he had put more emphasis on the bowl games and less on job searches, maybe we'd have done a little better. Uh, I like Mullen though, don't get me wrong. Mullen did great with us. He, he brought us to that next level where we are wanting a big time coach. Um, Moorhead just wasn't it. Moorhead, great guy. Like Moorhead as a, as, as a person, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're moving on. Uh, but I still expect it to be Billy Napier. At this moment, things could change. Uh, I think, you know, it'll leak out probably Monday night, Tuesday morning, if he is the guy, if, he, if the deal is signed. Uh, but a couple other names. I know we've interviewed uh, Todd Grantham, Florida defense coordinator, uh, obviously coach of state. Uh, I think he would be a decent hire. I wouldn't say it's a home run hire. I think Napier's the, the top guy for me. Uh, but I would say Grantham would be a good hire. He he's done great at Florida. He did great at State. Uh, he's had some bumps, but he doesn't have any head coaching experience. Um, but I think the thing with Grantham would be bringing in top tier assistants. I think he could do that. Uh, so that's that's that would be okay. I could deal with Grantham. A uh, good recruiter too. Uh, kind of a name kind of out of the blue. Uh, Dave Clawson, Wake Forest. Um, from what I've heard, we've courted him. You know, kind of seeing if there was any interest. Uh, I think there has been some. I don't expect him to be the next coach at Mississippi State, though. Uh, Joe Judge obviously played for us, uh, been under the Saban tree uh, with Bill Belichick, good special teams guy, which is something we could have used last year. <laughs> but um, he's being, I would say he's, I'm not going to say a fallback plan, but maybe third choice. Uh, there is interest, obviously, on both sides. Definitely on his side. He's he's said before he wants to come back to Starkville. Um, so there is interest there on his side, definitely, and on our side. So that's just a name to keep an eye on. Uh, and of course, HUD. You know, there's always that group that wants HUD and that group that doesn't want them. With with HUD, I think it's kind of like the same with Todd. You're going to get good assistance. He's a good recruiter. Uh, he's probably going to stay at state, much like Joey, Joe uh, Judge would do. He's going to stay at state, want to stay at state. Uh, that's kind of, you know, a guy you could count on being here in the long term, given they're decent uh, and can bring good assistance, good recruiter. Um, so there's kind of the four guys that I would, wa I would watch. A um, couple outsiders. Some people have said Gene Chizik. I think there is interest, perhaps more so on Gene's side. Um, I'm not a fan of it, but positive would be again kind of like HUD and, and, and uh, Todd would be probably top tier assistants He's probably gonna bring in some of the best 
Uh, and I can imagine you can recruit. You got a ring on your hand. You're gonna probably be able to recruit a little better. Uh, just not a guy I really want to go with. Um, people have said PJ Fleck. No, he's not coming. He's not leaving Minnesota. Uh, Butch Jones. No, he's not. That's that's the agent's ploy to get him more money or a better job elsewhere. Mississippi State's not considering it. Just a ploy. Um, so. I would say just watch Napier. That's who I'm, if you ask me right now who's our next coach gonna be, I would probably say him. Uh, if not him, I, Todd or, or, or Hud. Uh, I think Joe's being considered, uh, but no head coaching experience at all, not even coordinator experience. That's, that, that scares me. I think he would be decent, but that scares me, you know. Uh, so I'd say those three, but my gut would say Billy right now. Um, I'll probably do an update tonight if I hear anything else or, or you know, if I feel like anything else is going to happen. But uh, other than that, Hell State.